Lord Jesus, we bless you that you are the Lord, that you're the King of kings, you're the Lord of lords, and there's no one like you. There's no one bigger than you, for you are above everything. We give you all the glory, we honor you, and we welcome you to come and take full charge of everything that we are going to do. Come and use us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, our dear children, our parents, and those watching us this morning. We are happy to be with you. We are so excited to be in the presence of the Lord. And today we have another lesson that we are going to learn and we're going to listen to God. He's going to teach us more and more. Remember, we talked about him being our creator. We talked about him giving us the Ten Commandments. And today, we're going to talk about him being the only God that we should worship. And not any other. Not all these small gods, but only him. And that is why we're going to sing praises to him this morning and worship him because he is our God. And these other gods are the works of men. Okay, now stand up, stand up, stand up, everyone. Stand up, stand up so that we tell these gods that they are just the works of men and we only have one God.
because of that, we are going to worship our Lord with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our strength, and with all our soul. Stand up, stand up. continue saying you're worthy because you deserve it. You created us to worship you and that is why we are before you this morning. Thank you, Lord.
Enjoy your lesson. Hello children, good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're keeping safe by wearing your mask like I am, by washing your hands and by social distancing, okay? Now I'm going to take off my mask so that we can get into our lesson. My name is Teacher Yvonne and I'm so happy to be here with you today morning. So let us try to remember our last week's lesson. Do you remember? It was a lesson on the Ten Commandments from the book of Exodus. Do you remember the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses to, to give to the Israelites? That's what we looked at. Do you remember? And now this week, we are going to grow from there and we are going to look at the most important commandment among the ten. Right? But before we begin, let us pray, let us pray, hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, for good health. We thank you for our mummies and daddies that they've managed to provide for us. And we don't take it for granted. We pray, oh Lord, for all the people who are sick that they will be well. And we pray that as we are getting into our lesson, that you will be with us and help us to understand everything that we are going to learn in the name of jesus christ i've prayed amen okay now we are going into our lesson like i said we are going to look at the most important commandment and we are going to open our bibles we're going to open our bibles okay let's open our bibles exodus to the book of exodus chapter 20 let's open our bibles Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 to 6. And it says, God and God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything. You shall not bow down to them. Or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the father to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me and don't do what I want, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. So children, we've learned a new word. Who can guess the word we are going to learn today? It's the word idol. So, the word idol is, is something to mean, something that takes away your love from God, your love and attention from God. Something that takes away all that time that you'd have spent with God and you want to spend it there. That can become an idol. So let us look at how these children of Israel made for themselves other gods which became idols to them. In Exodus chapter 32, we can see the story of Aaron. You know Aaron, the priest, the brother of Moses? Yes. So the Israelites asked Aaron to make for them a small god. And do you know what small gods are? The small gods are very small indeed compared to our big god. So the Israelites asked Aaron to make for them a god and he made for them a golden calf. A calf? Oh no, that was something so wrong. So after making this golden calf, you can imagine God had already given them these commandments. He was not pleased with them at all. And he was not pleased with them at all because of what they had done, because he expects us to worship only him so children let me ask you do you think you've made gods do you know gods that you've made in your lives something that you make with your own hands and you put it there and you say for me this is my god have you done that okay if you haven't done that have you made something different an idol that has taken away your love from christ think about it okay now let us open the book of psalms and we look at what else God doesn't want us to do. The book of Psalms, the Psalms, chapter 135. 
Luke 135, Psalm 135, from verse 15 to 18. And it says, The idols of the nations are silver and gold, made by the hands of men. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but they cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, nor is there breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them, so will all who trust in them. You see, the Bible continues to show us that different that people are making idols. So it's encouraging us not to make idols for ourselves because the Lord says, those who make idols will become like them. And what becomes of idols? Idols are just like pictures or things, objects that people worship, but they cannot replace God. And so worshiping idols is something that God totally does not like because it takes away our love from him. It takes away the attention we would give him. So children, today I want to ask you, have you made something an idol in your life? Let me tell you a story of a girl. So this girl liked TV so much. She liked watching TV. She woke up in the morning before she bathed, before she greeted parents, before she prayed. Hmm? She went to watch cartoons. Are you like that? Think about it. The TV had become her idol. Because one day on a Sunday, she told her parents, mm, I'm not feeling well. I want to stay in bed. And they went to church without her. But when they had gone, she decided to watch TV in that time. She was lying. She wasn't sick. She just wanted to stay behind to watch TV. And that TV now became her idol. So think about it. Are you making something your idol? For some of you, it's video games. You want to always be on your video game. You don't even want to talk to people. You don't want to talk to your parents. They bring food. You just look at it. Be careful. You're taking away that time that you'd spend with the Lord and you're giving it to something else and that becomes your idol. So children, I want to ask, I want to ask us today to remember the first commandment, which is to love the Lord and to worship only Him. We should not make any idols for ourselves because idols cannot take the place of our God. Our God is strong, our God is almighty, our God is bigger than everything we see. So how can we get something else and, and try to make it like Him? That is not possible. So let us remember that we need to worship only only God, right? Yes. So, as we finish today, I want us to get a piece of paper. Get a piece of paper. We are going to do activity. Can you get a piece of paper? Now, on this piece of paper, guess what? We are going to write down everything in our lives that we have made idols. I've asked you to think carefully. Think of any idols you've made in your life and write. I'm also writing. So write, write all of them. Mommy and daddy can help you. Write all of them. Are you writing? For me, I'm done. I'm waiting for you. Are you done? Okay. So, as we finish writing, as we finish writing, we are going to get our paper. Get your paper, get your piece of paper. Get it? Crush it. Crush, crush all the idols, crush them. Yes, this piece of paper where you put your idols, crush it. And now we are going to pray, okay? We are going to pray that we give up these idols and that they may never take the time that we are supposed to spend with God. They may never take the time that we are supposed to read the word, to be singing to God. No, we are going to pray that we shall replace any idol in our lives with the love that God has given us. Okay? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our lesson today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you, Lord, that you are an almighty God. Father, we pray, O oh God, 
for, the, for people who are there, Lord, and that have never received you in their lives, oh God. Father, that first of all, they will repent. Lord, we repent that you may forgive our sins, oh Lord. If we confess all our sins, that you will forgive us, O oh God, and that you will bring us to your presence, that we may be your children. And Lord, for those that have been having idols, O oh God, in their lives, different idols that they have put on these different pieces of paper, O oh God, that Father, you will help them, that they will throw them away, that they will put them away, and that they will worship only you and you alone, and that they will no longer make idols of different things in this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prayed. Amen. So I hope by now this, these idols look like this, very small. We are going to throw them away. Yes, we are going to throw them away. After praying that prayer, we believe now by faith that God has, is going to help us to throw away different idols in our lives and to trust and worship only him. So throw with me. I hope you're going to throw in the bin. Don't make the house dirty. So we are going to throw away these idols. Ah, okay. So now we are new. We are new children of God. We are in our hearts. We believe that we are only going to worship the one true God. We shall make no other gods for ourselves. We shall not make idols for ourselves. Okay? Okay. So, now that that's done, we are going to do our memory verse. Do you remember our memory verse? Can you try to remember? Okay, let's do it together. It's from the book of First John. First John, First John is in the New Testament. Open, 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 open to the New Testament, chapter 5, First John chapter 5, verse 21. And it says, Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. Very easy, okay? Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. Yes. Okay. So now we are going to sing a song as we finish. Okay, let's sing together. I want us to sing together. Do you know this song? Mary had a little lamb. That's that, but that's not the song we are singing, but it sounds like that. But the words are, Ah, oh God is the one true God, one true God, one true God. Okay, now let's sing together. Ah, oh God is the one true God, one true God, one true God. Ah, oh God is the one true God, we worship only Him. Can we sing again together? Do you like the song? Okay. Ah, God is the one true God, one true God, one true God. Ah, God is the one true God, we worship only Him. Bye. See you.